Driver, step back here to me. Come on back here for me. Come on back. How you doing today? Come on back here, keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets, sir. Sir! Come here. Sir, come here. 37 Radio 1078. Come here, sir. Sir, get back. What are you calling? Sir, get back. Now, get back. I'm a sample whore. Every time there is a sample in a song, it gets so much extra points for me. To me, the art of sampling is beautiful. Taking songs, noises, and sounds from either real life or other songs and using them to make new songs is really beautiful. This is one of the main reasons I really like Kanye as an artist. Because sampling is basically his norm. Most of his songs include soul samples. Samples can be both simple and complex. They can be hidden or obvious. That's what's beautiful about it. What I love about samples is that you can always go further and further. You can get extremely creative with it. For example, how Kanye sampled the song Answer Me by Arthur Russell in his song 30 Hours. Baby, The band Death Grips, they have some of the most weird samples ever. Death Grips samples include the song Rumble by Link Ray and his Raymen. They took it and turned it into this. They also sample literal printer sounds in some of their songs. But also one of the more disturbing samples from them is the fact that they sampled Charles Manson, the infamous serial killer and cult leader in their album intro. I wasn't knocking someone's door down, I was running from that. When I got out, I was in that. I was already through that. I had that. I had the studio. I went to the studio, went to Fox Studios. I had it all and I looked at it and I said, this is a bigger jail than I just got out of. I don't want to take my time going to work. I got a motorcycle and a sleeping bag. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about one of the most disturbing samples I've ever heard. I Just Killed a Cop, Now I'm Horny is a 12th song by JPEG Mafia from his album Black Men Carson. It's a song about police brutality and Peggy's experience with it. The song intro includes an audio sample from the shooting and death of the police officer Kyle Dinkeller after his encounter with a Vietnam veteran who was going through a manic episode and shot him. This song started a lot of controversy due to the audio clip being extremely disturbing and Peggy seeming insensitive to the cop dying. The sample lasts for 1 minute and 20 seconds and it includes the last screams and breathing of the dying cop. It is truly disturbing. The reason the intro includes very beautiful angelic voices and a beautiful guitar is that Peggy wanted to show the irony of the situation. He's making one of the propaganda videos published by the government during the Vietnam War which included very dramatic and patriotic music over footage of Vietnamese people getting bombed and dying. The song goes on with Peggy's hook showing empathy for the cop, which is funny to me and shows how people who get mad at this song haven't even heard it fully. The hook is Peggy asking the question about how the cop's family feels. When your mama dies, yeah. when your daddy dies, yeah. when your sister dies, who gonna weep when these coppers die? Yeah. When your mama dies, yeah. when your daddy dies, yeah. when your sister cries. Peggy is posing a question to his audience. Do you have remorse or feelings towards police officers who were unjustly killed in their line of work? He furthermore juxtaposes the officer with someone closer to the audience, like their mother, father, or sister. The hook is a question of our morality 
and whether we're willing to uphold our values or remain indifferent towards an actor of a discriminatory institution. The first verse is Peggy describing a story of him being pulled over by an officer, which was racially motivated, but describing it in a way that makes the relationship between the person and the officer sound like sexual advance. I gotta get my hands on, gotta get my friends on, out of being in the friend zone. I've been out in that end zone, touched down on a real place, got down on a real space, I've been down on my space, ever since the days of my space. I was driving in a tri state, you got a fireplace, I've been outside waiting for the right moment to talk, to talk to you. The second verse is Peggy describing his thoughts and emotions as a black male when he's being approached by a cop, resulting in him shooting the cop out of his fear of dying. Oh my god, this pig wanna take my life. 26, no job, and now they gonna take away my life. I'm a failure. All my niggas can tell me out of this hell that I'm going. Fuck all you bitches, I'm going in. My mama told me I'd be down when I'm 25. 25. Jokes on you, bitch, I'm still alive. Still alive. Still alive. I can't close you. Grab my toast. Put the gun to the dome of the dead cop. And their third verse is where Peggy realizes what he's done, coming to the realization that he has murdered someone over something mundane such as pulling over someone for trafficking to get escalated into a person dying. This song will forever be one of the best songs about police brutality, as it describes both sides' feelings and it makes you question the morality of the situation from both sides. You should listen to Black Ben Carson, it's a great introduction to Peggy's and his music.